For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's treasure tale takes us to San Juan County, New Mexico. For the story, $50,000 in gold of outlawed treasure hidden, yet to be found. In 1874, an outlaw named Samuel Wharton and his partner, a man only recorded as Tom, held up the Star Line Main and Transportation Company stage line that ran between Santa Fe, New Mexico and Prescott, Arizona. The Star Line was used by the U.S. Army to transport payrolls to Fort Wingate and Fort Whipple. There are many reasons to believe that this robbery was one of those payrolls, which will be explained at the end of the story. Samuel and Tom trekked north with the treasure after stealing three horses from a nearby Navajo Indian herd. Thought to have followed Largo Canyon, the two ended up on the edge of the Santa Fe River around Blanco, New Mexico. Feeling confident they had eluded any posse that had given chase, their hearts must have skipped a beat when they looked back to see the cavalry hot on their trail. Somewhere near Slain's or Pato's Arreo, near an arch-shaped rock, the two were said to have stashed the gold so they could lighten their load and try to evade the soldiers. The plan was to retrieve it later, once things had cooled down. But the plan was short-lived. The cavalry caught up to Samuel and Tom as they tried to ride away. Navajo guides identified them as the ones who had stole their horses back near the hold-up site. The men were arrested, tried, and sentenced to 40 years in prison. During their time in the penitentiary, Tom passed away, leaving Samuel Wharton the only person still living who knew where the gold was buried. It was said that Samuel was back in Aztec, New Mexico, some 35 years later. Whether he's escaped or was released on good behavior, I don't know. But... Samuel spent the next couple months searching the areas between Aztec and Blanco for the old rock arch he and Tom had hidden gold near so many years ago. Samuel knew if he could only find that landmark, he'd be able to find their cash, and his long wait in prison would finally pay off. Just over that next hill, or maybe it was down this ravine, Samuel kept searching. Had the arch fallen during his 35 years since stashing the gold? Or perhaps it was just over the next hill. Samuel's resources were running low. By the end of summer, Samuel Wharton was said to have left town an exhausted and frustrated man. Having not found what he came for, Samuel accepted his defeat. One of the reasons his cash was thought to be an army payroll was that in the era of the robbery, the 1870s, the Southwest was in its cowboys and Indians' heyday. In these contentious times, the army had no interest in chasing down outlaws. A local posse could easily do as well, unless it had been army gold. $50,000 in gold at 1870s prices? Just imagine what that'd be worth today. Not to mention the possibility of some of those coins being rare. If you'd like to search for this treasure, it should be located somewhere in the area between Blanco and Aztec, New Mexico. The landmark you're searching for is a rock arch made of sandstone. Unfortunately, sandstone's not the hardest of rocks. And the one Samuel and Tom used to mark as their location may have fallen down in the years since. Earthquakes, erosion, man, many things could have happened to it over the years. But surely, if it had collapsed, the collapse section would still likely be near. 
and by looking at the erosion, one might be able to tell if it was a somewhat recent collapse, or one from much earlier. Either way, I still think it's recoverable. It's a lot of gold, it would sure make somebody stay. Maybe you. Good luck, happy hunting, and keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out the